what up, people? And I've been slacking, but it's whatever. Got my car running, got a new diff. Just been driving, enjoying it, really. I ain't gonna make no videos or nothing. Um, yeah, just got off work, driving home, decided to you know, make a little video. Decided to drive my car to work today. Not like the best day, but there's no rain. So that's a plus. But, uh, man, this was nice driving in the damn thing. I'm tired of it just sitting in the damn garage, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to work on my damn 6130 right now in this damn thing because it's just this new diff and the gear ratio. It's like I'm having to shift so damn much. And right at the top of third, I'm at like 125. I gotta shift the fucking fourth gear and it like just slows everything down. And not only that, but I turned, I, I found out my tuner had turned my car down. I didn't even really know that. Because I guess the injectors were like getting maxed out and all that. So, you know, I'm trying to keep it safe, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I might be injectors, whatever, later. So my car was like way slower than it was before. Either way, as long as it's safe, that's all I really give a damn about. I just wish somebody would've told me, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, I'm just trying to work on my 60 to 130, and it's just really hard with this gear setup. Having to shift right there, right before I get to 130. Like, even I'm shifting fucking super fast. Like, it just doesn't matter. That that little bit of time just it matters. So, anyway, yeah, other than that, just been driving the car with some different uh, drag rails on it. The Lido NT555 R2s instead of the Mickey Thompson's again. I just felt like I needed something with a little more or a little less grip, I guess. I know that sounds dumb, but I feel like it's just the Mickey Thompson's. For what I do, I just drive around here, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't need nothing that crazy, really. I went to the track a couple times, but that's not like my normal thing with this car. So I just feel like the Mickey Thompson's a little too much. These are more like a streetable tire and I can like I don't have to worry when it's like it starts raining or anything like that I'm not gonna worry about fucking spinning out at 20 mile an hour just with a tiny bit of rain on the ground where the Mickey Thompson's that was not possible the ground was moist I'm over here just crazy but uh, anyway yeah these these tires are pretty good so far They're, they don't really spin much after like I don't know, I say 50, 60 mile an hour, I don't really spend too much. It does look like a slight hazing, which is cool. But I saw, so I haven't really warmed them up before I really made a hit. So that's probably, you know, a big factor to that. Because uh, my buddy James Ward, he was like, man, my car makes a thousand plus, and I don't really even spend after that, after like 60, whatever. He said, once you warm them up, and things are golden. So take his word on it. Warm them up before I do a hit next time, and we'll see the difference. But yeah, man, I'm just again just enjoying this damn car. I got a new steering wheel. I got an IS rear steering wheel. I'm debating on just throwing it on here as is because it's way cleaner than my current steering wheel, or getting it like reupholstered. Nothing too crazy, just something clean. Maybe like get some blue stitching in it. Just not much, you know, just a, just enough to where it's like an accent. Six and seven hundred horsepower. 
by her like it's, I ain't gotta worry about shit with this T56 man I think it's golden and the twin disc it's just it drives nice so nice but yeah man I just wanted to make a little video for you guys and just trying to get back in the game man just been slack in life you know no excuses everybody has shit going on but yeah I'm gonna try to make some more videos maybe even like make this a partial video to another video we'll see but if not this is what it is this is a little short video keep it at that got this gym semi or not semi I don't really try to fuck with me it's never anybody like really fast fast to try to fuck with me in this car like it's it's annoying get all these fucking like racers and people in trucks like that and don't get me wrong some of these trucks, especially here in Texas, you gotta watch out for it. These motherfuckers will be fast. You look like some raggedy ass old Silverado or something, and just you pull up next to you and just take the fuck off. But you know, ones like this, 